Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday as usual. The last video I put out was on the wheelbarrow and it turned out great. I'm very pleased with it. My wife is very pleased with it. Uh, so in the end, it was a successful project or successful build in my opinion. But it's always funny how you have your mind set on something or you might be oblivious to something else and then somebody points something out and then once they point it out, that's all you can see. So... I was very pleased with it, the way that it looks. Then somebody pointed out that the side panels, they just look really plain. And I was like, really, do they? So I went out and looked at it, and sure enough, they look really plain. Never noticed it as I was making it. Um, so if I had to build it over again, I probably would not have used panels for both sides and then the front. I probably would use two boards and then connect them with a batten to make like a fence almost like a fence side instead of a solid panel. Uh, but anyway, I, I had fun making it. Uh, it was a change of pace. It was a good way to get rid of some of this red oak that I have sitting up here. Uh, and uh, yeah, overall successful project. Um, also last week, what was it? Oh, I, I posted a little quick video on these, these bits for a brace and learn some new stuff. So thank you very much if you um, left some feedback on that video. Uh, that was on my second channel. Uh, I'm not keeping these. A lot of people have been so gracious to say they will send me a brace because I don't have a brace for these bits. Thank you, that's very nice of all the kind gestures, but I'm not keeping those. Um, my neighbor dropped them off and uh, I just shot a little video to learn something about them. That was actually a good learning experience for me because I didn't know some of this stuff. And I could have researched it, but you know, sharing a little videos was uh, a little bit more fun in my opinion. So he's gonna get those back and man, he's got a lot of old tools. So hopefully he continues to bring some over and drop them off and say uh, say I can play around with them for a little, little bit. So if he does, I'll continue to uh, shoot little videos of those. Uh, also, <clears throat> this week, I'm not exactly sure what my project video will be, if I even have a project video. Uh, I'm trying to get ahead with Christmas stuff. Normally, Christmas is um, wait till the last minute and then try and make something as a gift. So this year, I'm going to try and make a bunch of stuff uh, beforehand and then just be ready. So I've already got eight pens made and I think 22 more pen blanks ready to go. Uh, I've also got some other turning kits that I wanna complete. None of the stuff, none of the turning stuff is gonna be videos because there's a million videos on making pens and uh, bottle openers and stuff like that. So I don't think I'll make anything unless it's, a, it's, unless it's like a specific piece, you know, something that's unique in, in some way. And then also, um, I ordered some, uh, Brusso hinges, some really nice hinges for a couple decorative boxes that I want to make. I don't know if they'll be jewelry boxes or what. I just want to make a couple boxes that are, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 inches by 8 inches, 6 inches tall. Something about that size to give out as gifts this year. Um, people really enjoy handmade gifts. And for the most part, I make larger items that aren't necessarily... Um, conductive to give as gifts. I've given a couple blanket chests as gifts and um, my sister, I gave her one as a wedding present and she still has no place for it. So it's always something to consider it with giving something that you made as a gift is, well, the, the, the recipient of that gift will probably appreciate it and really like it, um, but do they have room for it? So take that into mind, uh, take that into consideration. Whew, I can't talk. Uh, what else do we have this week? Uh, I wanted to share with you a couple of projects that uh, were sent to me this week. Uh, this is a bunk bed from Anthony Smith uh, using my plans. Turned out really good. And it looks like that he may have also made uh, the dresser that's in the room as well. Looks like they, they, they go together, which is really cool. And then also here is a miter saw station from Doug Patton. And he's got a lot more cubbies than what I made. And then also he looks like he didn't use the slide out tray for the planer, instead made it into a cabinet, which is a, a good alternative because uh, my planer is just too darn heavy. I didn't use my tray as a planer tray as I originally thought I would. 
So that's probably the only thing that I would change on it if I had to build it over again. And then this last one is an air filter cart from uh, Corey Sears. And a couple things that are different, he used uh, 20 by 25 inch filters. I think that's what it says on there, I tried to read that. Uh, it does look taller, so obviously his cart is taller. And he also added, uh, added an auxiliary receptacle down near the bottom, which is something I wish I would have done on mine. Uh, but anyway, I thought I would share those three little projects with you guys. Um, that's all I got for you this week. You guys take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Uh, but anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, but anyway.